guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. Today, this is Little Bandit, and we're gonna do a little demonstration. I had one of my viewers ask me the other day about chihuahuas that have their ears that are tipped forward. And that is something that sometimes chihuahua puppies deal with. Generally, they grow out of it. Bandit's only eight weeks old, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna grow out of it. But just because I had somebody ask me the question, I thought it was a really good time to show everyone how I do that when I do feel like I need to tape a chihuahua's ears. So the idea of taping the chihuahua's ears basically is just to sort of help it to train and stand up. I mean, a chihuahua's ears are supposed to stand up after all, right? I think they're kind of cute when they tip forward, so you know, some people might like it that way and that's totally fine. If you don't mind your chihuahua's ears tipping forward, it's all about just loving your pet, not necessarily about what society says it's supposed to look like. So you can leave your chihuahua's ears tipping forward if you want, and like I said, generally they will end up going up on their own. But if they haven't gone up after they're about eight weeks old, sometimes I will go ahead and just put a little bit of tape in the inside just to kind of help them to stand up. And usually it only takes a few days and then once you remove it, it just, they stand up on their own. Now different breeders and different breeds of dogs, they do this differently. I have my own method that I like to do. I've only done it a couple of times with a couple dogs over the 15 years that I've been having fun with Chihuahuas. And it worked great both times. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Does it hurt the Chihuahua? That's a good question. No, it does not hurt the Chihuahua. If it did, I would not recommend doing it. It's not anything surgical. You're not cutting their skin or doing anything. You're just kind of trying to help encourage them to stand up. Some people might view it as mean. Um, I don't think it's mean as long as you're not scaring or hurting your dog in any way. I do feel like it's important that your dog learns to trust you. And so I think it's good that, you know, while you're doing that or while it's wearing the tape, you make sure to give your dog a lot of love and a lot of care and talk softly and pet him or her so that, you know, they're not scared and wondering what the heck's going on. Let's just get into it. For my lovely method of taping a chihuahua's ears, you would need rubbing alcohol, a pair of scissors, scotch double-sided tape, a manila envelope or, what is this thing called? Manila envelope or a folder. This, yeah, this isn't a manila envelope. A paper folder or otherwise some sort of thick paper. You might even be able to use some of your junk mail postcards that you get in the mail. Hey, that's a great reuse of that, right? And a couple of Q-tips or cotton swabs. Now, a lot of breeders, when they tape their ears, they actually put the tape on the inside and the outside and they wrap it all around and they wrap this one all around and then they wrap the two together. And that is one way that you can do it, but I always feel a little bit bad for them when you put tape onto their fur because, you know, it hurts when you pull it off if it's, if it's got hair under it. So I prefer just to tape on the inside where there's no fur. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out my manila envelope or whatever paper you have to be approximately the shape and size of the inside of his ear, maybe a little bit smaller. You don't necessarily want it to go all the way to the edges. What, what is the goal? <laughs> oh yes, I know. The goal is to make it big enough to hold his ears up, but not too big that it's gonna be like irritating to him because the most common problem that I've had with this is that they tend to like kind of scratch at their ears until it comes off. If you can get it in there and he doesn't really even notice that it's there, that would really be the best. So you want this to be kind of small and lightweight, but just barely heavy enough to actually hold up his ear. I don't want any sharp edges that might poke him or irritate him. So I'm gonna round all my corners. All right, that's just about the right size. Ooh, I think it might work. Q-tip and the rubbing alcohol to clean out the inside of his ear in case there's any like oils or wax and then the tape wouldn't stick very well. Let's dry your ears. 
So now we are going to attempt to tape the little pieces of paper <laughs> into the side, into the inside of his ear, and hopefully it will stay with my double-sided tape. This Scotch double-sided tape is pretty, yeah, it's got a pretty good adhesiveness to it, unlike masking tape, which doesn't stick very well. I'm gonna put the tape onto the paper first. And then I'm gonna attempt to put it in his ear. It's okay, it's not scary, it's not scary. Oh, well, it's because I had it not the sticky part. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> now the key is if he'll leave it in there. Let's do the other ear. You're such a big boy now. That sounds stupid. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all my viewers' support. Thank you guys so much. Mwah. He's a big boy now. Mm -hmm.